This is some footage I managed to capture of the NS200 night sight in action after a couple of nights out after rabbits. Now the picture here you, you'll see probably won't be anywhere near as good a quality as what you'll actually see in the night sight's LCD screen after it has been edited and rendered for YouTube. And unfortunately there is no audio uh, <coughs> so it's all picture and no sound. Uh, and if any of you fellas out there forgot to get that special summon something for uh, Valentine's Day, you'll know what that sounds like. You can easily spot the rabbits in the distance, in the same way you would with a uh, lamping beam, as their eyes reflect in the infrared illuminator. It's a fairly breezy and overcast night, it's quite dark, so it's perfect conditions for this sort of thing. I stalked in a wee bit closer. I'm now within range of the two rabbits in the foreground there, so I set the rifle up in the shooting sticks and took aim. And bowled them over. The second rabbit, however, had cleared off. It had heard enough with the sound of the shot. But the rabbits in the distance, even though they were edgy, they were still there. But they were too badly spooked and cleared off once I tried to get closer. In this next field I spotted a big badger rooting around the field looking for earthworms and slugs. He's about a hundred yards away and he's slowly getting closer to me but badgers are fully protected in the UK and I have no intention on trying to shoot in this ammo. I just sit back and watch him You can see he is totally oblivious of my presence, or even the infrared illuminator, acting totally natural. After a while I think he caught my scent and cleared off into the distance at double pace. In the next field, I scanned about to see if I could see any rabbits. And sure enough, I spotted a couple of eyes well in the distance. So I stalked in a bit closer by tucking the unit in under the arm to cover the uh, light source. As I don't like switching the unit on and off, as it makes uh, a wee bit too much noise for my liking. Once I got within range I set the gun up on the shooting sticks and took the shot. And the next night I was out, the first rabbit I saw was running straight across my line of sight. I got the gun set up on the shooting sticks and thankfully I'd stopped before he ran into the hedge and I got a clean shot off. I spied another rabbit sitting just behind him. Again I took aim. Took the shot and just missed behind his head. Well he wasn't for sticking around for a second shot this time. But a quick scan of the rest of the field. I could see there was more rabbits about. A wee bit closer I spotted this group of three. Now they're just out of range but you can see that they react totally different to the infrared than they do from a uh, lamping beam. They're cautious but uh, they definitely don't look panicked at all. But I spotted a rabbit closer to me, well within range, set the rifle up in the shooting sticks and took another shot. A wee bit more of a scan around the field and I spotted not only one but a second one further down the field as well which was a wee bit closer so I stalked into it again once I was in range I set the gun up in the sticks now I try to get as close as I physically can 
without spooking the rabbits because it's very difficult to tell the range with the night vision sight because you're looking at a, a screen you can't see any detail in the foreground to judge what the distance is so you have to look at how big the rabbit looks in the crosshairs of your scope with a wee bit of practice you can get fairly accurate here I spotted a rabbit just sitting at the edge of the hedgerow I wasn't going to get much time for this shot wait it centered the crosshairs and just missed behind his ears this next field I already had spotted a rabbit and I've stalked down close to it and nicely within range now I'm going to centre the crosshairs and take the shot what I thought I'm still quite sure it was a fatal shot but I got distracted by a second rabbit well in the distance which was clearing off back to its burrow again after the sound of the shot but when I was focused back onto the rabbit I just shot I could see its head was up upright the shot wasn't as good as what I thought it was so I quickly put a second shot into its head to finish the job cleanly in this field I spotted two rabbits but once I got within range I could only find the one but the one was all I needed I set the gun up in the shooting sticks again this rabbit's about 40 yards centered the crosshairs just behind his eye and bowled him over nicely the night sight definitely is a handy bit of kit as you can see by the five rabbits I shot the night before though it does take a bit of getting used to the way it's fitted to the back of the scope like that here you see it fitted to my Theoban MFR FAC air rifle which was definitely a killer combination that night <laughs>